Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Slaw YouTube channel. So today in this video, we are going to see about the Azure DevOps because today in every field, whether it is in development, testing, functional, automation or any other field of IT, the DevOps or anybody who is currently involved in the infrastructure, the IT information technology. So they should have a knowledge or they must have a knowledge. And this is in fact an additional knowledge that everyone should acquire. That is the Azure DevOps. And there are like lots and lots of tools in the market, but this is one of the two. Or this is one of the, I would say a, bo a, a, a positive thing, which will help you to learn a lot of things. And in fact, you can get a free tier a free version of it to try it in your mission and there are a lot of ways to get that I can even guide that uh, how to get this uh, licensing or it's kind of a free license that would expire after some point of time but even you can uh, request uh, from the Microsoft and they will give you and you can try all this part I mean they are like most if if you are into like I said already, it's if you're into development or testing, you would definitely need a hands-on experience on this and that will definitely help you in your career growth. So with no further delay, let's move on to the video. I will just take you through some of the parts. So this is going to be a, a kind of introduction and we'll have a set of a set of videos on this. I will take you through each and every part of it and will tell you how to use this Azure DevOps as a tool. And the first thing is uh, today I will show you how to create a repository and how to create a startup pipeline using this Azure DevOps. So the first part is, uh, and again, uh, along with that, I'll also show you how to integrate this with the Visual Studio Code, the VS Code, which we see here. So this is the Visual Studio Code. So we can also integrate this with this particular uh, Azure DevOps. So once you open your DevOps window, can see the new projects in case if you want to create a new project you can create a new project but here in this video we will I'll show you how to create a new repository so here this is the uh, project which I'm going to show you for creating this repository so I'm opening this project and to create a new repo we have to go to the project settings under the project settings we have the repositories which is under the repo so on top we have general in fact there are like lots and lots of things to learn but we will go through a, a set of videos towards a particular objective so this in this video our objective is going to create a repo so we'll, i'm going to click on this repositories and then on the right side top you can see the create button the plus create button and this repository type is going to be a git one and not a tf version control so tf version control is something which comes as part of the visual studio but in this up in this uh this particular repository we're going to try it with the git git source control management uh, way and then the repository name i'm going to give it as so let me just make it underscore session so this is going to be the repository name and i'm adding a readme file by default and then since as i've told you we're going to integrate this with the visual studio so i'm going to select this drop down under the add a dot git ignore and then i'll search for the visual studio and i'm selecting the visual studio so now we can see the three options which is the git the azure DevOps session name and add a readme file with the third option and then the fourth one is add a dot git ignore which is the visual studio and now it shows our repository will be initialized to the main branch so now we'll have a main branch and then when i click on the create one we have got the azure devops session and there are lots of settings which we can enable so these are the default options the allow users to manage permissions for the created branches and apart from that we are not giving any brand, any options any settings to the other users and then we have the policies we have the security but for now we'll just concentrate on the repositories so now let's go back to the second step so now the first step is completed so let's open the azure devops session here so for that opening we'll have to come to the repos under the repos let me choose the azure devops session so here you can see we have got the dot git ignore file these are the default part which comes as part of the dot git ignore and then we have got the readme.md file the markdown file and now we will 
try to connect this i will try to connect uh, the azure devops with the visual studio code so we'll go back to the visual studio under this let's open the terminals and for that click on the three dots go to the terminal and then the new terminal and under the new terminal we'll have to navigate to the folder so for that let me go to the c drive sorry cd c drive and then under cd sorry let me go to the folder directly so i'm going to the folder cd space yes and now i'm going to create a folder which is going to be make directory azure devops underscore session so this will create a folder and this has created a folder so now we will navigate inside this azure devops session and now we are into this azure devops session folder and to view the files we can either go to the file section or else in the terminal window click on code dot space minus r so this will refresh your code and you will be taken to your folder so now let's bring the terminal again now we are in the folder and the next part we're going to do is we are going to clone it okay so for that what we're going to do is we are we'll go back to the project now and before cloning it we'll have to first create a git folder inside this location for that i'm typing git in it so this will initiate the git inside this folder which is the azure DevOps session folder and then let me add a git add so this will in fact we'll just do a git status so there are like we are on the branch master and there are like no comments yet so let's go back to the azure devops and here we have the azure devops and let me click on the azure devops session on the top and then you can see there are like two options one is the setup build we'll come to this later and then we have the clone so i'm clicking on this clone button and this will give me two options one is the https and the other one is SSH. So in case if we are, if we want to connect through SSH option, then we can show use this SSH. But in this option, in this case, you're going to use the HTTPS through the command line. So I'm choosing the HTTPS and then I'm clicking on this clone copy URL to the clipboard. And I'm coming back to this place and I'm doing a clone. So to do that, we'll have to type git clone. Or else there is another option we can do which is Git remote add origin and then I'm giving this URL. So now this is set as our remote branch or remote repository. And now let, let me let me try to create a git branch minus m main. So now this should create a branch. Okay. Let's now try to push the changes in case if we have anything. So so far we do not have any changes. First, we will try to push the changes and now we are getting this error which says it's failed to push some references to the remote repository and in this case what we have to do here is we'll have to pull the changes first from the repository and for that we have to run this command which is git pull origin main allow unrelated minus history some hyphen history so this will actually pull the files from the origin so here you can see now we have got the git ignore and readme file which we have here already just created so this is what it does so in case so most of us will will have faced the, would have faced this issue that is failed to push some uh, refs so in that scenarios or in those scenarios this will definitely help us to let me just copy this for a moment. So now we have cloned it and we have got the file. Let's let me do a git branch and see what branch we have. So now we have got the main branch and now we have connected. We have cloned the file to the local, which is to the Visual Studio. And now let me run a git add. So this will add the files in case if we have any. And then I'm running a git commit so this is going to be initial commit to remote repo let me type in remote repo right, so that's nothing to go commit so that working tree is clean so now let's do uh, let's do a git push 
minus u origin main. So this will in fact push some files in case if we have anything. So since in this case we do not have any files, so it again told us that everything's up to date and the branch main is set up to track, which is as origin main. So now we will move on to the next part, which is the creating and running the first pipeline. So now we will try to create a pipeline. And for that, let's go back to the Azure repo. So in the Azure repos, here you can see, if I click on the repos, you can see what all the repos we have. We just click it again. Okay. So we are on the repos and we are on the Azure DevOps session. And here, as I told you, we have two options. One is the setup build and the clone. And we have already set up the clone in our local. So now we'll try to see how does this setup build works. So now I'm clicking on the setup build. So this will take me to the pipeline. So here we can configure the pipelines. So now I have got two options. So in fact, I have got a lot of options. But still in this uh, example, I'm going to use the starter pipeline and I have clicked the starter pipeline and here is the uh, default or the template code which tells us that this will print hello world with the display name of run a one line script and also it will print add the tasks to build test and deploy so this is in fact a very sample project and you can actually use this to build your basic template one and then once if it runs fine you can automatically implement your code and you can start running your pipelines so now I do not, I'm not making any changes to this pipeline or this YAML code. So I'm clicking on this save and run. So this will tell me that as a commit message that set up CI with Azure Pipelines. In case if you want to make any changes to it, you can create it. So I'm going to run it as set up my first Azure DevOps pipeline. And in case if you do have any additional description, you can add it here. And here you can uh, you have two options one is you can commit the, the changes directly to the the main branch or you can create a new branch for this commit but i'm going to i'm just going to commit directly to the main branch so i'm clicking on save and run so this will create the pipeline for me and if i click on this job so it will take me through the job so here it will show me the status of the pipeline and here you can see the test is running fine so it's finishing the job and then it's building the report so in this case the job is completed successfully so here you can see the job is completed successfully and everything is fine so this is how you can create a pipeline so in fact you can create a repository inside your project and then you can create a local in your machine using the visual studio you can make any changes in your code and then you can push the changes to your uh, repository to the remote repository and then you can run your pipeline to the azure devops in fact in our next video we will see how to push and pull the changes to your azure devops in fact that's that's going to be a very interesting set of videos where you can create you can create a repository you can push pull changes you can do um, git commit there are like lots of options you can try and test so we will see them one by one in our next video so please don't forget to sub support subscribe to our channel in case if you have any queries or any feedbacks please do comment in the comment section and please do give your feedbacks and all your feedbacks are very welcome and until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from ascension and little slaw